Talking about colonization as something of the past without any relevance to present issues is failing to appreciate the trauma and disruption that colonization has caused and continues to cause. Today's video is brought to you by Obafa. If you are interested in current affairs, history, politics, and being socially connected, stay tuned to the end of the video to find out more about the Obafa app. Remember to subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss any of our African videos. It's critical to examine the premise, objectives and structure of the colonial project to be able to identify its consequences to this day and not contribute to it. Here are some examples of how colonization is still palpable in African countries at many levels to this very day. Borders. Arbitrarily drawn at the Berlin Conference in 1885, the borders of African countries which have overwhelmingly remained the same over a century later, totally overtook the distribution of ethnic groups, cultures, religions and languages. They are solely based on the economic interests of former colonial powers for their own hegemonic project. And surprisingly, many conflicts over control of resources have arisen between ethnic groups that were originally the same and now live on different sides of a border with different nationalities. Several pan-Africanist leaders, including Nkrumah, have advocated for a common African foreign policy strategy speaking to the importance of not being restricted by artificial borders that were neither drawn by Africans nor for their benefit or with their interests in mind. Have you ever noticed how in many African countries, the main roads and railways that have historically been used go from the interior of the country to the nearest coast? This can be traced back to colonialism and the exploitative project of colonists to bring natural resources to the coast and ship them out of Africa. If there was no export at the time in a specific area, roads and railways were not created. Indeed, there was no interest for colonists to encourage intracontinental trading or commerce, hence why roads and railways that aim to connect Africans and their resources to each other are few and all relatively recent. As Dr. J. E. Kwegir Agre said, it is time that Africans and those who are committed to Africa's liberation from a colonial paradigm internalize that only the best is good enough for Africa. What do you think about today's topic? Join the conversation using the Obafa app. Become part of the voice of Africa and make yourself heard with Obafa. You can also make friends with thousands of people who share the same thoughts and feelings about Africa. With Obafa in your pocket, wherever you go, you will never feel alone, misunderstood or unable to talk about anything relating to Africa again. Obafa owned by Africans for Africans. Be sure to check out the description below for all the information. Remember to subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss any of our African videos. And please feel free to leave your suggestions, news tips, or even topics about Africa that you'd like us to cover.